you have to go to work, if you want to smile, you want to make sure that you put this back. Now, if the bridge comes off, you could put it right back. But what will happen is this will, will fall out every time, every time you talk, and then you're missing a tooth right there. See it? You're missing a tooth just like that. This is a bridge that replaces that missing tooth right here. So if you look at that, it's replacing this tooth. This is in the front. And if it's in the front and you smile, you could surely see this and you want to make sure that you put something back in there if you have to go to work, if you want to smile, you want to make sure that you put this back. Now, if the bridge comes off, you could put it right back. But what will happen is this will, will fall out every time, every time you talk and then you're missing a tooth right there. See it? You're missing a tooth just like that and you want to be able to put this back. Now the question would be, now how do you put that back so it doesn't come off while you're, it doesn't come off while you're talking? So the first thing is if, if it does come off, you have to put some sort of cement, some sort of material that will keep this from coming off. So let's say, I'll have Rhea hold this, and let's say for instance this comes off, what do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you got to be able to clean that the, the extra cement that used to be in here. How do you do that? Well, a couple of things that you might have at your house would be some sort of Q-tip or you could also have a toothpick. So you'll have all these instruments, a toothpick, a Q-tip, and then you, what you want to do with a toothpick or a q-tip is be able to clean the inside of the crown and then you want to be able to make sure that that's clean enough so you could put the the you could put the bridge right back and then it'll be loose because there's nothing in here to keep the bridge in so once you've done that once you've cleaned this off with a Q-tip or a toothpick, and you gotta make sure it's clean because if you got, you'll have some some material in there. So you have either a toothpaste, and some people sometimes even have some denture paste. So you have a toothpaste, which is something that you brush your teeth with. A denture paste is the paste that we use for dentures. To make sure that when we put it in here it stays in so you'll have some sort of a toothpaste or a denture paste to put in the bridge and you'll, you'll use that as, as a temporary cement okay, so now how do you do that well if you have a toothpaste or a denture paste so a toothpaste and a denture paste you can go ahead and open this up so once you've got that opened up, you could put it in your, see how the, the toothpaste comes out like this? You don't need to put any more than that. So this is a little bit lighter than if you were to use a denture paste. A denture paste will look more like this. So there's going to be a little bit of thickness in either the denture paste or the toothpaste. So depending upon what you want to use and what you have at home, you could put a little bit of toothpaste here. See how that looks now? There's a paste. And or if you had that denture paste, you could put it over here a little bit. So now you've got a denture paste on the tooth. Then once you put that in there, you put it right back. You put the dent, the you put the teeth back in here, and then so you have a little bit of excess toothpaste. You take that out, 
and then you could use your toothpick again to make sure that you could take off the excess denture or toothpaste off of the tooth and then usually you'll have some in the back and then you take that off and make sure you take off the excess and then now your bridge is back in again but you gotta know this is not gonna be permanent this is gonna be something that's temporary so you gotta make sure that you go back to your dentist because sometimes this if you put too much it'll irritate your gum and you gotta be able to go ahead and clean the excess off especially here clean the excess off and then now like I said you've got your denture you've got your denture paste or your toothpaste in there holding up your bridge it doesn't have to be a bridge it could be just one tooth like this so you've got the crown coming off of your tooth and then what you want to do is put that right back but if you don't have the paste it will come off again just like this what you want to do is you want to be able to go get um, a q-tip and then be able to clean the tooth whatever is inside there you could also use a toothpick to make sure that you could go ahead and clean the inside of the crown and then be able to go ahead and try that back on so you've got this so we were doing a bridge now you got one tooth that's missing and then you want to put that back just like that just one tooth so we're going to be able to go ahead and put this back so if you look at that you're going to go and Put a little bit, not a whole lot. See how that looks? Just a little bit. And then you could put this, you could put the, the crown right back. It'll be like that. And you put this right back in there just like that. Okay? And then, again, you want to make sure that you remove the excess off. Of the tooth either using that toothpick like this and being able to get the excess off from the back so it doesn't irritate your gums